What's up guys welcome back to my channel and today we'll be watching the last episode of the same man season one yeah uh you know the last episode which is episode 10 i did set up a lot of things that i'm actually more interested about you know the correct thing is dead so we don't have to think about him any anymore now we have to think about desire and elusive and all these people and everything is good i assume we're going to get it in this episode unless if they decide to stretch it into season two if that is even happening so let's check out last episode and if you guys do enjoy this video make sure that you do leave a like subscribe and also comment down below it does really help to the to the channel and let's get into the last episode of this segment good night love okay i don't know if i'm watching the right series this is the same this is an animated What the fuck is going on? It's tonight. Are you coming? Should be amusing if nothing else. I can't get out. All the wall openings are closed. Am I watching the Red series guys? This seems like an animated movie was written the same in episode 11. Did they make an error? Was it episode 10, the last one? His claws and teeth were sharp as winter. He was my choice of lover. I never saw him again, but I did not forget him. I didn't run. <laughs> Oh, he's a terrible, you mean? And I dreamed. Well, well, this kid is turning into a villain very fast. the heart of the dreaming there is nothing here for you okay it may be the same man because we're not dreaming listen for wisdom justice is a delusion and wisdom has no place here either but revelation that is the prophet enter then proud cat but be warned dreams have a price I have no idea what is happening, no, no, what it is to this story. Seriously. Okay, I, I think that Lord Mafia says no. Please. A dead crow sent me here for revelation. I want to know why could they take my children from me? Why do we live as we do? I oh, the joy of those days I saw in his eyes. The game of cat and man. Yeah, this is a weird dream. One of the humans rose amongst them. Inspired by a dream, he told them, Dream and time was ever blessed. Do you understand now? Yes. Yes, I do. Then you know what your task must be, what your burden you must bear. Are you strong enough? Yes. So the bonus is kids and humans are not different because, you know, kids used to hunt humans and, you know, eat them, so. What am I blessing? Not so different. You see, I have seen the softies. <laughs> it is. It's really cute. Okay. You can't force a character to do something just because it's easier for you as a writer. I think I'm in the prison now. 
has to come first. Everything else follows. But well, twenty eighteen, you know the present, but you, you know. Uh, in view. Fraught meaningful silence. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. Could you tell us a bit about your process? Uh, do you have any advice for those of us who are just starting out and finding it difficult to not hate every single thing I write? Be doing more. But I suppose if you like your present now. Yep. Does. I was 27 visiting Mount Helicon, researching yet another novel I was sure to abandon. Ever be what you might call a shining example when it came to keeping your word. I have no idea what the hell is happening. You can see. I don't know, the episode is just kind of using it all. This is not what I expected. I, uh, I just need time. Oh, she, she is going to force him. This is happening. Ah, uh, just okay. Your prayers are wasted. There's nothing we can do for you. Please, nothing you can do but help. Please don't leave me. See, see the name. Same of yours, right? That's how it works. Your mind. <laughs> By law. The God of Dreams can't save you. Oh, he said Morpheus. Okay, so I guess it's going to Morpheus. Going to do this interview at your home. Thank you for getting the word out about the new book. So, I thought I'd start by asking about your formative literary influences. Well, I wouldn't even be a writer if it wasn't for having read people like Shirley Jackson and Margaret Out. Oh, the song. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he was dreaming. Yeah, of course, in dreams, in dreams. Say they dream, man. Say they dream. What did you do to me? Are you still thinking about the fraternity of critics in reality as dark brethren linked by profane rites and blood vows to destroy an author by sacrifice a child and perform a critique 
Oh, you know your idea. For a city where the streets are paved with time, a train full of silent women, driven by a blind man. <laughs> I think the King of Dreams is giving him these ideas now. Or maybe he's still dreaming, but yeah. She's gone, she's no longer there. I guess when you say that city is free, that's when you know, just was able to live. People are just think it's going crazy. To be honest, seems like it's going crazy. No, I think... May I visit you in Dreamland sometime? So that we might finally talk about our son. Who oh, their son? We never need that of him in the entire series until now. Greet him properly. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Perhaps, but... I understand. Okay, guys, that was the sentiment episode 11. Wow. Ah. I mean, seriously. I'm not gonna even try just to, you know. I'm disappointed. That's the truth. I am disappointed without the end of the series. You know? Should have known that episode 10 was actually the final. Because this episode 11 is just something else different, like the first episode of season 2. And the way they started this episode, you know, with the kids and all that. Why? Why? Guys, if you understand it about the kids or something like that, you know, just do comment down below. Let me know exactly what the purpose of that. Even if this was in the comics, I think this is the stuff we kind of skip, you know. Why? Why kids? Why animated it too? Of course, both you know, just was it a little bit hard to do with the text kids and all that, but it is useless. I don't know if it's going to play a major role in the next season, but the kid thing, seriously, are we going to see huge kids in season two and in tiny humans naked ones too? I doubt that. How does it connect Lord Mobius? How? Guys, if you can, if you understand it, the thing about kids, you know the entire story about that, just explain it down in the comments. Help me understand what the purpose of that. You could say, let me just, you know, just forget about the effect that this was useless to destroy and to, and just, you know, try to talk about the entire not the entire but the entire of course uh the entire story arc of the kids you know what i think about it first of all of course it's useless but yeah i think i've established that many times now and second of all the story is itself about the kids is also useless it's not useless yes it's useless but also stupid i'm not trying to be harsh or anything but just think it's not the best they could come out with you know about kids and dreaming and all that when they said they needed the, the kids or at least the humans that's who the one who watched the series to feel something about the kids but seriously making it like that you know the kids were big than humans and they used to hunt humans and eat them and now 
the men are sort of doing the same but not all of them because you know kids it seems like kids all of the kids would be denied or sometime hunt these humans and eat them but humans some are terrible some love their kids you know like very much they do anything for them so now these kids are like trying to think of a way they can you know they they, they know the way and like she's training kids to dream about becoming big and change the world so that you know they can start eating humans again and be in charge that's yeah i think i'm i said all of the story and that's exactly what this part of kids is all about and it's ridiculous it's they could find your better way if they wanted to do animated with the kids a better way to do it but this is the best they came out with I'm, I went in this effort he full like I went in expecting this guy to be in there just everything they set up in the last episode you just list the not I don't think they could have ended you know they could have you know but I don't think it would be a good idea to just do it in this episode and end it in this episode but I think it could have done a follow up up to that from that last episode that's what I was expecting but instead we got something else we got to see something that was like something that was never mentioned in the last few in the last entire episodes or 10 episodes we never seen this part and maybe Kalia I don't know yeah the girl was you no know, maybe she was mentioned once or twice but I don't remember so this episode I went in forward in expecting that something like that even if it wasn't entirely something like, as, as I said in the last episode, but he just didn't want of those kind of elusive or desire or anything like that, you know. At least, or something else that is not kids, you know. They could have just removed the kids' part and still give something better, but I don't know who was writing this or why they thought this was a good idea. I, I'm sorry if you do love this episode very much, including this arc of the kids. I'm sorry, I just I don't buy it. I think it's just you know, not a good. Thing, you know. I don't know if this is what happens in the comments and they're trying to stick to it and you know all that but this is the theory that you gotta remove because it's, it doesn't resonate with the humans at all we know that anyway I'm just gonna move from the case because even when I started watching all this episode I was kind of thinking that maybe I'm watching the wrong season but I did check it and said the same man so yeah uh, yeah, let's go to the second half with Caleb, which was a better one than the Cape one, obviously. I mean, kind of, obviously, but it still is close, a lot of them. So, the second part with the Caleb and the, uh, you know, Richard, I don't know. I still have the same feeling as the kids, is the, it is a little bit useless to the story, the entire story. I think the only thing that is saved is just to show us that Lady Morpheus is different. Is now a little kind and you know, kind to humans and you, everyone around him. That's it, just in some of the app that, and we kind of saw that in the last episode, so I don't know why they kind of put it again. That's the only thing. And also, yeah, maybe it did play, it's going to play a major part in the next season, but I also, you know, wouldn't be surprised if really this is the last time we do see this girl. I mean, they've been doing that since the first episode, so yeah disappointed in the eye yeah, they don't know how to stay in consistency you know they try they try to you know this seems like each episode is different from the last one you know sometimes it's a good thing but sometimes it's bad especially if you just do episode then you leave some cliffhangers then you don't come back to it you know, at all that's just a bad it's not good it was bad you know so i think that's the, what they're trying to do and the thing about Kalia and the, you know, air powers, you know, being in and inspired and people being able to write and all that. Uh, so, okay, I mean, all uh, oh, fine, sure, and she's an amused, that's, that's all right. I mean, it's okay. So, I understood it, I didn't get it, useless, but you got it. And this is the major. I don't know, I don't have anything to say about this kind of everything, you know, it, it just, it was that, uh, the main, you know, I think Lord Morpheus ended up setting free or maybe not, it doesn't really matter, I don't care, uh, 
I think this is the major thing that it drew me back for this episode is that it is nothing to do with the entire set of the last season. Not the last season, the last episode. Nothing. It was there was no continue continuation from those storylines. It all it was just left you there and the kind of move on. So I am a little dis- bit disappointed. I am disappointed, not little, but just entirely disappointed. We got to see Lord Morpheus just a time bit. A time. And I know this show. I think it has been doing that from the beginning, but I think the last few episodes, it just, you know, except for episode 10, of course. But other episodes, they, they didn't really focus on Lord Morpheus, you know. It is in the show is never the same man. And we better get to see Sandy Man doing anything, you know. I mean, I don't know why they do this. It's just that sometimes, you know, they try to do it because it's helpful, was it? You know, sometimes if you just keep on with the storyline being revolving around you one person, it can get boring and all that. But I think if, if you also remove that aspect and you also name the show the same man, it kind of means that you have to evolve at least the entire like, 75% of the story needs to fall involve around him and he also he needs to appear more than anyone else in these entire episodes maybe one episode is acceptable you know the actor needs to rest and you know recharge and do that but when you just do it almost all the episodes like the main character does not appear majority of the time in an episode like these last yeah, seven episodes except for episode 10 he actually appeared enough in there this is an appeal in like 30 percent of the entire episodes and yeah i would say this show from the beginning or uh, you know second act should be just the code of all takes because secret rose walker was the main character of that we know that rose walker was the entire in the main character of the second act you know the vortex and all that not the same man. Same man was just somebody who was just dangerous to me and she needed to find a way so that you know she doesn't die. I don't know why to do this. This is a potential. For me, it did potential. I did love some episodes, don't get me wrong. My general the episodes were always, you know, average and also great. Sometimes it was actually great. But it lagged some episodes, especially the first act that, uh, Boy, you know, stole the necklace or the, that king. I'm almost, almost, almost forgetting that entire story. I think I do not like the, that one, one much. Yeah, the first episode was, was great at setting up the, you know, the rest of the series, but not that much great either way. So, yeah, uh, this I would say this show is an average show. It's not great. It is just flows and it is it's ups and downs. So it is everything. But the major thing that it disappoints me the most is that just Lord Morpheus is not does not feel like the main character of the series at all. So they should change that if there's going to be a season two. Or well, maybe, maybe not, but should we check up upon that, you know, if there's going to be a season two. But guys, I don't know. This episode and just in general, the disappointment in the episode, you know, just an entire fifteen or twenty minutes, I don't know, you know about the kids and just useless stuff and then we get sort of a setup for season two a sort we don't really know if it's going to leave upon it you know if it's going to follow this, this story but i'm really excited to see you know the, the next season because if they do focus on you know uh lucifer desire and destiny not destiny but despair against the uh dream and yeah you know Lord Morpheus and uh death and destiny I think it will be really awesome. It will be really good. No, the actions alone should impact. The actions alone should impact the humans. That it, you know, people you know will get the, everything that they will be doing, the fighting and everything they will do should impact the humans in a way that we can actually see it. They should assure us that this is how impacting the humans because these people, these gods, these lords, the realms are fighting so yeah i think it is potential but i'm gonna you know that this show from the first season alone i'm gonna just you know go in expecting anything now 
there's nothing wrong with changing up you know things but if you entirely just you ignore what you set up and everything that the fans were looking forward to that's just bad for me for me anyway it just seems like silly and stupid and bad you know you should follow up with the story not you do you know just do an episode then you skip other episodes then you follow up then sometimes we just leave it like that i think this is the major flaw of this show at least on my own view so guys uh yeah that's my titles of this series and this episode and uh, this episode i would generally give it like a six out of ten yeah six seems pretty good i would i wanted to give it five but you know the the thing that i'd give it a six because of this kind of setup or you know the color and yeah he dream we know that it's the kind of setup this is you know the second season so that's the reason i gave it a six but other than that yeah you did you guys do comment down below what did you think about this episode or did you like it maybe did it happen but i don't didn't like it so comment down below why did you like it if you hate it i understand it that the episode is not great and if you did end up enjoying this video guys make sure that you do leave a like comment subscribe and i do read other you no know, shows from the same man not from the same man but from you know movies and movies too so you guys also comment down below what show do you want me to read to next after the same man so guys uh, hopefully you do stay safe and I'll see you in the another show another ration and goodbye